Farisa's hand, we're not really sure how it became the way it is. Uh, when she was born, we're like, wait a minute, that's not what we expected. You know, we were first initially pretty shocked, but we were really just happy that she was perfect in every other way. I have three of my fingers. I have my thumb, my pointy finger, and my pinky. The kids at school just really ask, well, what happened? I tell them that's just how I was born. I want a new prosthetic hand because even though I'm able to do everything, I'll be able to do some of the things I'm able to do now better. And so this is an open source prosthetic. What we're designing is going to be using a lot of this same functionality. What this will end up doing is attaching to your forearm. Uh, this part will sit on top of your hand um, and we're gonna put a strap on it and so that it'll, it'll secure it to you. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I got involved with the project because I got an email from a faculty member asking if uh, I'd like to help a girl who was born with a deformity and I, I jumped all over it. I first learned about what Yuta Bothell might be able to do for Reese because there was a story that the university was putting out about this little girl named Jaina and uh, the UW and the College of Engineering were helping to create a device for her hand that would help her to play the drums. And I was watching this and I thought, gosh, that, that would be so great for Reese. We've been in touch and working on this ever since. And so it'll do one layer and then uh, move the plate down just a little bit and then do the next layer and then move oh, that's it cool. And, and keep doing it until your print is finished. In our first meeting with Michael, we got to look at the 3D printers and he was showing us something that was being printed and I never thought of 3D printing as the way this was gonna happen. We watched these things being printed and we were like, oh my gosh, that's, that's, that's gonna be it. Like, this is crazy. Creating a prosthetic for a child is really complex in the sense that they outgrow them so quickly. One of the benefits of 3D printing is that we can just rescale it as she grows. And then you could also feel how light it is and uh, so it's not going to be really heavy on you. It's so, light. Yeah. And so it does look like what I thought it'd look like. I see her already when we come here, we work with Michael and we look at the design, she gets really excited and, and she goes home for days after these meetings and just talks about her cool new hand and what she's going to be able to do and it's just super exciting to see it all happen. Being a veteran, one of the things that Michael has seen is that many of his friends have needed prosthetics, and so he wanted to do prosthetics when he graduates. Undergraduate research is important because it allows them to learn not only about the world around them, but also about themselves. And it allows them to see that things work, and sometimes they don't work. And it's that process of learning and failure that's really important. This one would control the fingers, where this one would control. The project in itself is pretty challenging as we are trying to take a 3D printed device and make it as strong as any other prosthetic out there. We're trying to build something as strong as we possibly can, as cheap as we possibly can. And so we're trying to jump over a lot of different hurdles. There was a lot of issues that came along and a lot of problems that uh, we faced that we didn't expect to face kind of working on this project earlier, I didn't even see the light at the end of the tunnel, and him and I decided, like, we don't want this to stop. We have to finish this, and we're gonna commit time outside of work, outside of school, to complete this for Reese. It became personal. I'm gonna actually paint everything at home. You can be painting whatever color you want. Purple. Purple? Okay. I can paint it purple. <laughs> There's something so heartwarming about being able to give her something that makes her feel complete and makes her feel just like every other kid on the playground. I'm so excited to be able to create this and give this to her. It's meant the world, to be honest, because um... She is my world and she means everything to me and I just want her to have every opportunity in life to do all the things she wants to do. And I, I want her to be happy. <laughs> so this, this is an opportunity that is making all of that happen. Ready? Yeah. Oh, it's pretty. Here it is. 
It's really pretty. I like the colors. I'm going to size that on your arm. Thank you no so much. It looks better than I ever imagined that it would. First time I actually see it working is just, it's going to be amazing. It, it's kind of unspeakable to be able to, to provide that for a child. Oh, wow. Here it goes. There we go. <laughs> I worked so hard for this, and first time she saw the device and seen that smile on her face, that was, that was one of the best moments I can say of my life right now. To see it in action was pretty magical. It felt awesome to, to see her enjoying it. It was a pretty emotional moment watching her do this, this thing we've been working towards for so long, just seeing her dream come to life. It's hard to describe how excited I am. It's just amazing. Yeah. <laughs>